it going, people? It is Liam Carson here with another episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, as we're on episode number 14 for this season. Um, looking forward to getting into this, especially with the last episode being centralized about the bet that was set up from the very first episode and Jake ultimately becoming, I guess, victorious. But there were quite a few surprises, of course, for him in terms of um, feelings and uh, him trying to deny certain stuff. But uh, yeah, it was definitely the biggest sailing of the ship between Amy and Jake. And I feel like something maybe official is going to be set up further down the line this season. Who knows? But uh, yeah, the ship is there and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where things go. So with that said, let's get into episode number 14 for Brooklyn Nine-Nine season one. Um, let's go. She's getting up there, but she's pretty spry for her age, especially considering she got hit by that car a year ago. Oh, that's so That's awful. very, very specific in terms of the or... age. <laughs> Just getting me the newspaper. All right, this is useless. Scully, Don't. is Kelly your wife or your dog? How can you ask me that? I still don't know which it is. <laughs> He's very, very you. evasive. It's your case, but if anything goes wrong, it's on you. Trust me, the sergeant will be fine. If you want to worry about anyone panicking in the field, it should be Boyle. Damn straight. <laughs> Wait, why don't I high five that? Because you're a sucker for a high five. Damn straight at you. <laughs> Captain. No! Awesome. I wish I had nerve damage. Some of them Fuck. are the films, but I'll find the non <laughs> Some of them. to investigate. Could you ask Scully to return my thumbtacks? I already put them in a biohazard bag and tossed them in the furnace. Ah! <laughs> and then I was Ebony Falcon needs to read Go Dog Go. Yeah, he does. Terry Jeffords is back. Chest bump me. You don't want to do this, man. No, I really do. It hurts you every time. No, I know, but I'm fired up. The adrenaline is going to carry me through. Sure. Sure. Ow. One knockoff designer clutch. Can't you just buy another knockoff? No, I can't, silly Sue, because the label no longer makes the original, so the sweatshop no longer makes the knockoff. You estimate the value of everything. Why do I feel like this is emotionally $700 something. million? <laughs> Sorry about the mess. Look, I thought he was a weirdo for having his year-long freak out, but I get it now. He has children. What happens to them if he gets hurt? I'll have to take care of them. Or his wife or other family or his more yeah. mature friends, but interesting point. Why is he just <laughs> sitting now? I don't know. I guess I just hadn't seen his kids in so long. He never takes them around the precinct for some reason. Suddenly hits you. Because of all the guns in danger. If you have concerns, maybe you should talk. No, it's not even that, you know? It's just... Well, frankly, I'm not so sure that everyone at the gym is going to buy you as a trainer. You've been sitting oh, behind that desk for so long. You've gotten a little tubby, right? It's like love handle alert. Do you have a bone? Damn, or why? Uh, Jay, I promise I'm good. Oops. I got to put this stuffed giraffe between my two girls. They both like to snuggle against his head. Huh? Here comes Mr. Snuggles. Here comes Mr. Snuggles. <laughs> <laughs> Say lobby. Let me grab your badge numbers because I will be filing an official civilian complaint with the captain. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's serious. Why did I just receive a civilian wow. complaint? Wow. <laughs> I can answer this because your assistant is a goblin. Is its definition. This is a miscarriage of justice. I'm going to haunt your dreams. Oh, no. Fucking hell. <laughs> You sure you can lift this much weight? Are you kidding me? Oh no. Strongest kid. Can you go any faster? I mean, what do you need leg muscles for anyway? You're like 100 years old. How old? Yeah, so how old is he? On a scooter. Like, Just give him time. One. One? Come on, you're not even moving. Let's go. Get your hands off me. I've heard about this in the news. You're cypher bullying me. I'm getting the manager. No. Get the hell out of here. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I work out there too. Never heard of any train. I don't know why. Uh, uh, I work out there all the time. Really? Starting when? NYPD, hands on your head. My God, you're gigantic. What are you doing? What the fuck? So oh oh no, Jay. Or did I save your life? Or did you compromise an investigation and piss off a superior officer? I'm sensing from your tone, it's that one. Probably. I'm a PI. These guys are hacks. How do you know if your husband's a murderer? Don't call Jessica Jones a hack. You don't. Call Leo now. Leo Sporm. How's business? You know oh, shit. Everyone knows him. 
the Picasso of the Hucksters. I like Oh, that. shit. Look up who Picasso is. Spawn. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is my name? The Ebony Falcon. And what does the Ebony Falcon do? Takes every precaution to ensure his own safety. <laughs> Takes bad guys to jail and bad girls to bed. Hell yeah, he does. <laughs> now the Ebony Falcon is monogamous and too tired. Well, so far, Jacoby hasn't given anything up, but I think Terry's starting to get to him. I'm not talking. You talking right now? Boom! I'm already in your head. <laughs> So I'm just safe in there, so the longer this interrogation goes, the better. Don't piss off Terry. solve the case before he does. Hey, tell me about that new system you set up. Like now? Yep, he's got that locked up. We're following up on this lead. The whole team is running smoothly and perfectly, like a well-lubed, oiled time clock. Bye. <laughs> Why do you think you're going to hire that PI? To mock us? She's scared. Young Kevin Costner type. Her home doesn't feel safe anymore. If someone broke into your apartment and you She's weren't vulnerable, cops, wouldn't you be scared? Yes. Depends. <laughs> How many guns do I still have hidden? No. <laughs> I still have a knife. Nunchucks? Axe? It was I love a hypothetical question. I know, but I want to play it out. Can you stars? <laughs> this is. <laughs> if you could be any vacation, what would you be? I'd be skiing. Oh, now I'm going to hit you for real. That wasn't for real? Oh, my God. No, wait, wait, wait. I was worried. <laughs> worried about what? About you getting hurt. I don't want your daughters growing up without a dad. I know what that's like. And it I sucks. get what he's doing, but... I don't want but... it to happen to them. Ugh. Why did you say something to Happen to the best people. And what's to keep it from happening again? We are. Come on. We're taking you home. Aww. Really? So nice. We installed a second lock on your front door. The locks on the windows by the fire escape and set all your lights on timers. That makes me feel so much better. Thank you guys. What is that? That's me. I'll be right there. You gonna let me do this, man? What choice do I have? You hit me in the arms so hard they no longer work. All right. <laughs> it's time to kiss some bad guys. That's Terry for you. It's gonna piss off Terry. Have a fun steroid deal, Sergeant. You're a weird guy, Jake. Yeah. We love him. So, how did Sergeant Jeffers do? Why is everyone so worried about the Sarge? He was amazing. He made the buy, took He's out the just supplies, curious. but wisely didn't take on more than he could handle. I left 140. And <laughs> I know that he punched me in the face several times. That does make me happy. Guess we're being candid. So thank you for keeping me safe. Oh. Oh. They're so full of potential. <laughs> they are. Why would you show me this? <laughs> oh man that was so good i get it i really do get it what jake was trying to do but at the end i think at the end of the day we see that you don't need to fear for terry you need to fear for terry um no you need to be fear in of terry should i say um no it's it's really really good i love the development like to be fair, I really love not just the development uh, of Terry, but also Gina as well, because uh, I feel like you get a bit more, a bit of a focus on the others. Um, not so much Terry and, and, and Gina, and I feel like this episode did a very, very good job at um, kind of rectifying that in a sense. So it was very enjoyable for both ends and very, very fun. So yeah, thoughts about that. Um, pretty great stuff. Like I said, it's really, really great to have an expansion on Terry's character. Well, not just Terry's character, but uh, Gina as well. Obviously, we know that uh, for the most part, I would say, of this season so far, we have had um, expressions of how Terry has um, been in a bit of a vulnerable place. He's been plagued by um, the events of the past year and has been a bit on the cautious side and and, um, it's only been recently that he has been trying to break out of that um, hole. And um, when given something that is kind of a proof of worth, uh, there is that um, there is that uh, moment where Jake is just not so sure if this is the right decision now. And it's like, um, but I do get it. I honestly do. It's it's understandable. Not well. It's not just understandable to um, worry that all of that. Um, develop like you want to take baby steps, I guess, with um, Terry going back out. Um, but I think it was more so. Um, 
viewing the fact that he has children. And I think we've uh, glossed over Jake and how he's had a troubling uh, raising during childhood as, as well. So he's um, very, very uh, petrified that he, well, he's not going to be able, he's not going to return home uh, to his daughter. So um, it, it's that sudden fear that I don't want them to, it's, it's as, um, he put it about the fact that they're going to become orphans, aren't they? Um, but yeah, um, it, it's that fear and I do get it, but I do feel like, uh, this episode did a very good job at showcasing that vulnerability, but also the lack of trust as well, because Gina had a, uh, a mix of vulnerability and a lack of trust as well. Um, and that's what happened with Jake. He had no, um, there was there was a lack of trust in terms of Terry going out there and and being able to handle it well. But it it's not so much about he's not capable of doing so. It's just that fear that um, drives over him. And um, yeah, like I do get it, and it is very very nice to see Jake looking out for Terry. But um, you know Terry can assure him i've got this it's all it's all really really good and ter terry did like the fact that he had those three guys and not like a headlock was just was just really really good stuff and um, but i also really loved um uh, the little sparring thing that terry and uh, jake had that was that was pretty pretty fun stuff but um yeah um it it's it's understandable with uh jake just panicking and um yeah, but like I said, it's not the the fact that um you gotta t uh, you gotta fear for Terry. It's you gotta be uh, fearful of Terry, I guess. Um, and and that's it. And I and I'm really liking this development. Like I said, it's great to see um him, like where we started off. He's just he he's just worried. He there is that drive to go out there, but he's really worried, and he doesn't want to um doesn't want to consider the possibility that he's not going to be able to make it back but now he's um he, he feels like he's ready to kick ass and um and yeah it's th there was that moment where i thought oh no are they going to undo what happened to terry um like is, is he gonna have a, a moment where he's just gonna um recoil into the shell like a, to a tortoise i guess but uh no it was uh if anything jake being the one um of of fear like you like there was uh bits of stalling and um all that he was uh hovering over him and you've got into a fight with that old guy at the gym um but um and and not just that though but being able to clean uh up i i guess the situation with that guy um when the time wasn't right he he busted the kind of um sting that happened uh, because the fear got to him and he wanted to make sure that terry was safe like you want to capitalize on the opportunity now before terry gets his head caved in so thus he busts the sting and and terry wanting to rip him a new one like the aggression that he had yeah so but like i said i do get it but um i think terry's got this and i'm hoping that jake does have a bit of that um concrete layer in terms of okay terry's got this so all good um but like i said um we did go on to that vulnerability and lack of trust with gina as well when um you had stuff stolen from gina i thought at first it was going to be something uh completely unorthodox like she pawned it or something or like especially if she was drunk or something and she pawned it and she's like oh okay um especially since um things um seemingly were looking that way but um no i really love how we opened up gina's character as well and how she became very very vulnerable she was really scared and there was like jake there was even um hints about how she wanted to find some kind of protective um like um some kind of protection in terms of making sure that she would be safe again so um but i really do love the expansion of gina's character and um yeah, like, um, I, I did like the fact that it was on brand in terms of Gina being a bit difficult, especially to Rosa and, uh, and Amy, but, um, I did also, like I said, it's great to explore that vulnerability, like, she is quite outspoken, uh, and whatnot, but, um, there is that level of fear for, for Gina, and, um, uh, 
she even says to um to halt about the fact that she has that lack of trust like jake had a lack of trust with terry she has a lack of trust in the people at the precinct because um they're all doofuses but she wants to make sure that she also has the best protection as possible she doesn't want um she doesn't want i guess surplus security if that makes sense she she wants to make sure that she can feel secure and um i really loved how rosa and amy in the end really pulled for her and i really loved how rosa was talking about um does she not have this does she not have that like they were making that holt was making that hypothetical question and rosa was just going off just giving me more reasons to love rosa so much so yeah but um i really did love exploring more of gina in this episode uh, um, in parallel to to Terry. Like I said, two characters who I don't feel get as much development, but in this episode, they did, and I really appreciated it. So, pretty, pretty awesome stuff with this episode. But, um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!